Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shield Wonderlike! Last episode we got through the beginning part of the... What you call it? The part where you think you're gonna battle but you're not. You're just going on stage just to, to meet the gym leaders. Yeah, that part. This episode it looks like we're gonna go into mine. Just take a quick look at our team. We've got Swiper the Fox. Knuckles the Pony, Sad Frog. Uh, we actually, yes, Metamech, I was listening to your comment. Shout out to Metamech. Go ahead and click the little icon over on the right side. He's awesome. Um, he wanted me to keep Tiny, so we replaced Patoot with Tiny. Um, we also have Taya and Milo. So our levels are still pretty basic, I suppose. I haven't had any evolutions. But it looks like Sad Frog's almost there. I'm not sure when Tiny evolves, but I'm pretty sure that's soon. Probably around level 20. Milo's getting close, and Sensity. I, I, I think Taya, you actually have to have an item in trade, but that's okay. Let's get right into this mine here and see what it's all about. The Galar Mine. Oh, I gotta run into Rock and Roll and run to trade it. Yes, an encounter! You know what's the cool thing? And I forget which game I was playing. I'm pretty sure... Is Rog and Rolla introduced in black and white? Whatever game he's introduced in. I was running around once for fun in the game. And I actually found a shiny Rog and Rolla. It was awesome. I don't know what happened to him now. Hopefully he's still in the game. But I end up... I have a, a complex or something. But I like to make new games. It's my thing. So, I probably made a new game and forgot all about him, but whenever I see him, I'm like, Oh yeah, I remember I got a shiny one of those. And now I miss him because I wish that I still had him. I could have transferred him to the new games and used him, but... Oh well. Wow! Look at that! Sad Frog is evolving! Didn't I just say he was close? Hey! We got the emo Sad Frog now! He's ready to go read some books. Stuff. Things that sad kids do. And we added Rog and Rolla to our Pokedex. Let's get him out of here. Oh, I keep forgetting I want to give him fun names. To send him off, but... I go too fast. My brain doesn't work right. I'm broken. I'm broken inside, guys. I don't know how to fix it. Alright, Rog and Rolla, let's get you out of here. See what wondrous team member we might be able to get. Ooh, a Rolly Coley. I used him in my personal playthrough. He was actually pretty cool. Though, that Pokemon's eyes are very strange. I don't agree with them at all. They're like the way old school anime eyes, I guess. They're just freaky. He's got nice eyes, though. Hello, nice eyes. Worker Keith, what do you got for me? A Rog and Rolla? Hey, I just beat one of those. Hey, this would be perfect for our emo kid, Sad Frog. Oh, but actually. Why are you so perfect, Knuckles? How did we get so lucky to get such an advantaged Pokemon through Wonder Trade at the beginning? He may not be a legendary or a shiny or something super cool, but I think he's pretty cool for what he is. Because he has just wiped through everybody with ease. That's the secret to this game. You just need a ground type with a fighting move and you'll win. You'll win everything. Looks like we weren't in sync. No, I'm sorry you weren't. I am going to bring somebody else out though because I think I've probably used Knuckles this whole time. So maybe we'll bring out Sad Frog. Now that he's evolved, right? I don't even know what moves he has. I'm a horrible trainer. What's Torrent? Powers up water type moves. Water Pulse! Oh, sweet! Bind Pound and Swift. Sad Frog, you're perfect. Let's do it. We ain't gonna lose nobody. Got it? No, not a single one of you. You're all gonna stick with me to the very end. We got some great balls. Hello? Ah, a Rock Blast. Ooh, I wonder who can learn that. Probably Knuckles. Whoops. Nobody can learn Rock Blast. Well, that's kind of lame. Like, no TMs. 
I'm so used to playing my Platinum Randomizer that... Just getting the same items. It's like, oh wait, yeah, I should know what that item is. Because in the randomizer, you just- you have no clue what you're gonna get. You look like you're ready for a battle. Ah! I didn't think you would see me! In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training! No, there's no slack in here! You're in the mine, gal! I love your hair! Reminds me of the Wind Waker, the Legend of Zelda. Those curls and those clothes. I'm not sure why it reminds me of the Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker, but it does. He's a fighting type. But he shouldn't be too effective, so we'll just use a water pulse. Timber! Oh. Take it, sad frog. You got this. Alright, let's use another water pulse. We should get him down. Timber! <laughs> now it works. I think he's pretty cool. Another timber? Oh, we should bring out Tiny. Tiny would be super effective, but if he has a fighting type move, then that's gonna hurt Tiny, so I shouldn't. Critical! Yeah, he does have a fighting move, so yeah, Tiny would have been a terrible choice. Just because he's part dark. But then again, I'm not sure if he's actually part dark this early in the game, so I'll have to look. But I believe when he evolves, he is dark. Whoa! Tiny leveled up! Knuckles! Tia, Tia and Milo! Ooh, strength? Is that better than Stomp? Stomp's got 65. Ooh, that's got 80. But that could flinch the target. But that's stronger. Yeah, let's let's replace it. And ta-da! Oh, Tiny! Taya! Milo! Another one? Okay, right, we're gonna have to stay out because I, again, I'm not sure if Tiny is actually a dark type and fighting types are super effective. I wonder if a Swift would do any good. Probably not because Water Pulse is a stab, yeah. Either way, I would have had to use two moves. You ever find yourself, like, counting that? Like, I need to use two of these moves to kill this Pokemon. I do it all the time. I'm like, which one's gonna kill it the fastest? Sad er, yeah, Sad Frog and Swiper leveled up, and Swiper wants to learn Assurance. Already taken some damage in the same turn. His attack power is doubled. User yells as if it's ranting. Ooh. He's got a higher special attack, which didn't make sense to me, because I used him in my personal playthrough about half the game. And the fact that he has a very high special defense, but or attack, and he gets a lot of these attack type moves, pretty makes sense. Maybe we'll just take a beat up and replace it with assurance, because we never know. One day we might just lose every team member except Swiper, and then beat up would be totally useless. So at least assurance, if he gets ha hit, he can take revenge. Anything over here? A golden ball. We need that. You know that? We need. We have all the Pokeballs in the world, but we need a golden ball like that. Or a yellow ball. Hey, our trade's complete. Let's see who we get. See you later, Rog and Rolla. See who decides who wants to come on down. It's a Sporvet! Woohoo! Sorry, but I really don't want to. You're cute! Don't get me wrong, you're a freaking adorable. But I don't think I'll use you. But you're there for backup, just in case. Plus I think we get to encounter a new route anyway. Oh, excuse me. It's Thanksgiving night. Here I am recording after we just ate a bunch of freaking turkey. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go hibernate on my stomach. Didn't think it could handle so much food at one time. But it was freaking delicious. And I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate. And if you don't, I hope you had a wonderful Thursday. We just ate a lot of turkey. We had my parents over. I had two kids. and We had a grand old time eating and talking and reminiscing on memories. 
And then, totally just going off track here, I know, but we had to end the night off with one of the kids getting hurt, right? So my my daughter, or Drillbur, yeah, Sad Frog, you're perfect, um, was playing with something and it whacked her in the head. So she's got a gash in her head that's bleeding and my husband just wrapped her up in gauze. So now she looks like a mummy. So that's the end of our Thanksgiving dinner. My poor daughter bleeding from her noggin. But everything's okay, so. Eat it, Drillbur. Sorry, Sandra. You look like you got a pee. Is that a whoop bat? I can I can actually encounter those. I thought that they were just flying around. But but I saw him get close to the bridge. Look at that roly coly evolution over there. I just want the Pokeball. That doesn't mean I want to battle you. And why does your beard not match your hair? It bothers me. Like, if you're gonna dye your hair, at least dye your beard. Or if you're gonna dye your beard, dye your hair, whichever one it is. Like, fix it, please. It's really cool. It's going down. Good night, really Coley. Hello, Tiny and Sad Frog. Man, you are getting some levels. Pluck. I think you need berries for that. But it's a flying, and it's 60 while this one's 35, so let's replace. And okay, it looks like Tiny is just a, a flying type, so she will be useful against fighting types until later in the game. If only I'd used an item effectively when I was in a pinch. You got one hit KO, there's no item you could have used at least this early in the game to save yourself. You know, I don't know what the heck these are for. Prevents the effects of traps. Set on the oh, is it for like those spikes when, the, when, when competitive battle people use those spikes on the field so when you switch Pokemon they get hurt? Maybe that's what that's for. That's awesome. Ugh. What do you want, you purple people eater? Any trainer with a wishing star is in for the beating for me and my Pokemon. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have to potion up real quick so I can kick your butt, you annoying little dweeb. Sad Frog, I believe in you. Let's use you. I don't remember what types you have. I think Psychic. As you can tell, he's dressed in all purple. You! You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Ugh, he bothers me so much. Get over yourself, trainer bead. Bidet. Whatever the heck you want to be called. First Pokemon's a Solus. Sad Frog, you got this. Let's show this purple people leader what we're made of. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine is all. Uh-huh. Whoa! Sad Frog! What the heck? Huh? Why did that just happen? What does Endeavor do? And why is it so strong? The heck? That was not cool. That's two health. Yes, I'm gonna switch out, but I figured we were faster anyway, so I took the chance. <laughs> That's probably not the best best thing to do. All right, a Gothita. We're switching. Um. I mean, I use I've used Knuckles so much, but I don't want to lose anybody. What do you got? You got Mega Drain. And Astonish. Who do we use? Let's let's choose Swiper, because at least Gothita won't have a Pokemon or a move that's super effective against me. As I'm pretty sure she's a dark type. Aw, oh, she's that cute. Uh Snarl. Oh, you must be a psychic type. Well, in that case. Competitive? What? 
Don't even go there. Do not hurt me. Oh, you used a attacking move. Oh, that's because your psychic types won't hurt me, sucker. That's what you get for having an attitude. Almost killing Sad Frog. More levels. All right. Swiper and Milo. Hatania. I think I know which one that is. Oh dear. What have I been doing? Well, whatever. It went too fast. Oh, this adorable little thing. He's so cute. It's the psychic type, so I know I've got it. I should have just used Hone Claws and then snarled, and I think it would have been fine. But I don't think she can use anything that's gonna hurt too much, so. Ah, this is a good time to test out a move I've been interested in lately. Oh, fairy type. Shit. Shit. Oh, thank goodness. Thank the heavens. We got him. We got him! We beat you, sucker. And a critical! That's right, Swiper! You show him what you're made of! I see. Oh. Sorry, I'm yawning again. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Oh, you're such a brat. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you and when, if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. <laughs> that is probably the furthest thing from his voice. But I feel it. Perfectly appropriate. So, eh. Hey, we made it out in one piece, even though Sad Frog has two health. Hey, lady. Oh, thank goodness. Look, she healed me up. And this is a new route! Woohoo! I'm pretty sure you can find Eevees here. But it won't matter. I know. I always get excited. I'm like, oh, what am I gonna find? But I won't know until the internet has been connected. That freaking Pikachu running through the grass. There's like this Eevee kid running through the grass too, and it, it trips you out because you're like, oh, a Pikachu or an Eevee! And, and yeah, it's not the case. Oh, we should probably quit shaking this tree. Huh? Thank you. Hi, do you want to battle? What happens if you drop your ball? Is your Pokemon going to come out? Are you just going to stand there and let me stare at you forever? I'm going to do it. We can waste this whole episode if you want to. Just turn around. Notice me. Notice me before this Yamper does! Hi, Yamper. Oh, aren't you cute? Come here, come touch me. Why do I always have to do all the work? Oh, it's so cute. Look at him. No, come back! <laughs> well, our first encounter is a Yamper! Oh, adorable. Uh, you know, I've been getting pretty lucky lately. Let me see if I can get lucky with Yamper. I think just about every Pokemon I've caught has just... I've just been able to throw a ball at it. And this is this still streaking! Yes! Every one of them has been so easy! Tiny, are you gonna evolve? So I can use you more? Too afraid of you dying on me. Oh, I, I forgot to name him again! Darn it! Why do I do this? Oh well. Let's start that wonder trade. Okay. Well, since you're not gonna turn towards me... I'll come to your vi- <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm doing special training while camping to dream a Pokemon! The finishing touch will be a battle with you! Alright! Ready to get your butt whipped, sir? Breeder Jamie? Oh, your hair's cute too. I like how all their hair looks all bubbly. Sad frog, let's show this boy what we're made of. Let's give him the finishing touches he was looking for. That Galar mouth. I think he's 
Like, what is- is that supposed to be a beard? Wait, what happened? Oh, he flinched me, sucker. I think it's supposed to be a beard. But it looks ridiculous. So that brings me to the question of the day, guys. What do you think about the Galar forms? What are your thoughts? What are your favorite uh, Galar form Pokemon that you've seen if you've played the game or if you've watched other videos and stuff? I'd have to say I really freaking adored Galarian Ponyta. Maybe it's just a girl thing, but she is so cute, right? And then it evolves into this ugly mofo <laughs> that looks like a, a man. Like it goes from this cute, sweet little pony, my little pony, to a man. And I hate it. And I I didn't even, I was going to use her as part of my team. And, and I didn't because I hate the evolution. It's, it's so stupid. It's so disappointing. Ooh, a butterfree. Let's let's let Tiny shine with her pluck. So tell me, like, do you have a favorite Galar form, or a least favorite Galar form, or one you thought you'd like and it was not the case later on, <laughs> like mine? <laughs> I hope that's not the case because it was pretty disappointing. I was training it up and I, I was like, ah, I don't need to see what it looks like. And then I was scrolling through Facebook and I happened to glimpse at it because somebody posted it. And and that was when my dreams were crushed. So don't use Galarian Ponyta if you were thinking that she's going to be all cute and stuff. And then I started Googling around like, okay, is the female look different than the male? It, no, it doesn't. They both look the same. They both look like men. Just like both the... Uh, the ponytas, the Galarian ponytas look like little, little, my little pony girls. I was so sad, as you can tell. I'm still, I'm still talking about it. I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> All right, see that? Look at you go, tiny. Please don't use. Oh no! Kill it. Oh my gosh. I forget that s freaking C dots have bide, where they. It's kind of like counter, except it builds up like two or three turns. So that was kind of scary. Sorry, Jamie. <gasps> Swiper, you're evolving! What are we gonna turn into? A fox with a mustache! Woo! <laughs> a thievel. With a lid? Body of sharp cloth. Lid? Light? Body and sharp cloth. I don't know. It goes around stealing food and eggs. Boltund is its natural enemy. What is a boltund? What's a boltund? Swiper wants to loot. <laughs> Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! Oh man! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I went so much door as a kid. Okay, see again, it's an attack. It's an attack. Ugh. Well, we might as well get rid of Assurance then, huh? Well, no, I think I like that one. But this one stills... Eh, we'll just... We'll keep Assurance. Though it is very fitting. I gotta look up what this bolt... Oh, Tiny! Okay, I keep getting interrupted. Come on, Tiny, let's do it. Oh, Boltund is the evolution of Yamper. Corvusquire. So that's the little electric dog that evolves from Yamper. So that must, he, they, it said it was his natural enemy. So the fox goes around sleuthing everything. And then Super Pup Boltund is here to save the day and all the eggs. <laughs> The lessons of many harsh battles have taught it how to accurately judge an opponent's strength. All right, Tiny and Swiper, look at this! Look, guys! So we got Sad Frog, Swiper, Tiny, Milo, you're you're the only one. Because I'm pretty sure, I'll have to look it up later, but Tay, I think, has to have an item. Goodbye, Sweet Diglett. I was just going over to this Pokeball over here. I didn't even see that Diglett stand on there. Pile of silver powder. It's cool you can get a Punkaboo this early. 
And you can actually find its... What are you? Oh, it's meow. You can find its evolution in the wild area. Which is cool. Gorgeist, I think it's called. Is there a trainer over here? And a TM over there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that an Eevee? Ah, what just touched me? <laughs> There's so much going on. Leave me alone. There is an Eevee there. Cool. All right, I just wanted to come over to this. Pokeball I saw. A cleanse tag. Oh, it keeps Pokemon away. <gasps> Look at our trades complete! Goodbye, Yamper! You cute little corgi butt! Who are we gonna get? Oh, darn! We have one of those. I must be trading at the wrong time. Sent over bird. Thank you for your bird. This is not nice. What level are you? 25. Oh, it's name changed. Blue seal. Blue seal. Yeah, we'll just keep our tiny. Okay, this yamper is running after me. Run. Oh, he won't touch me. I forgot. He just approaches you because he wants pets. That's all he wants is pets. Yamper's everywhere. Okay, I saw a team over here, so now let's go over there. Freaking Eevee kid tricking me. I, I ran right for that kid when I was playing. And I was like, no! What do you want, Electrike? You just know Sad Frog's in the front and you want to zap him. It's not going to happen because I'm going to run away from you. Bye. Can I sneak behind you? Oh, snap. Pendasaur. I don't think anybody can learn that either. What did I run into now? Gross. You and your beard. Oh, you Santa Claus. Goodbye, Santa. Alright, it looks like we're getting close to this next part. I just wanted to run around and get these um, items here. But I think that's our next area over there over here. Oh, another Pokeball. Sweet. A sharp beak. Oh, it boosts the power of flying moves. Heck yeah. We are gonna equip that in a quick second. Wherever it is. Sharp beak. Here you go, tiny. Uh, hardstone rock types. No, because Mudbray's ground. Silk scarf is normal. No. Grass. Yeah, I think we're good. You know, your relative over there also did not see me approach from behind him. Even that mouth sees me and you don't see me. You guys are so lame. Bye, Eevee kid. <gasps> Wooloo, well, where do you think you're going? What? Wooloo! Well, Ow. It's so fluffy, that didn't hurt. Oh, are you okay? Of course I'm okay, it's a Wooloo. You took that tackle head on. Hmm. Oh, you must be one of the gym challengers, right? No. Are you trying to have me on? I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. Yeah, you stole the name of my sweet little purple guy. Yeah, I'll see you there. Ma! Oh, you're so cute, Lulu. I guess he technically- I didn't even know his name was Milo to be honest. I just looked at Toxel and I was like, Milo! That's the name. That's it. It just, you know, happens sometimes. You just know the name. Here we go. Hey, we made it through a good part of that- this episode without all this dialogue. Look, just take a look at you, Foxy. That's Turf Field Stadium down there. Grass types. Tiny will be good. Gym leader just returned too. Milo's his name, but the place is jam-packed with challengers. It'll be ages before our turns come up. Oh, but Sonya is looking for you, Foxy. She wanted to ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on that what's her f on that what's what's her face heel. You know the one. Well, you don't know the hill. Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. 
Aw, is little Yamper here to show me the way? I'll follow your cute little butt right after I jump into this Pokemon Center. He looks like he's taking a piss in the flowers. Wait a minute. It looks like he's just dropping a whiz in his flower bed. All right. You do you, boo. I ain't judging. Maybe it's good fertilizer. I don't know. I don't take care of flowers because I'd probably kill them. Sweet, guys. All right. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Looks like next episode we'll be heading up to the gym. Taking on our first gym challenge with our teams here. Don't forget to drop a subscribe, jingle that little bell, like, and I'll see you around next time.